Yo, what's up? It's me, Tim Keys. I'm back. I want to talk about Killer Hearts 1. Now, Killer Hearts 1 has been released as of January of this year as a free plugin from Killer Hearts. And yeah, I'm going to go over some of the features of this plugin, some of the sounds, and talk about some of the differences between getting the VST version as well as the rack extension version, which is also free. So I don't want to waste too much time. Let's get into it. I got the rack extension version pulled up. And as you can see, it fits quite nicely into the Reason ecosystem. You have your oscillators and you have your standard, you know, pulse wave, sawtooth wave, and noise. And then you can use the shape knob to alter those tones. And then you could sync them. You could adjust your pitch, the octave, the semitones, and the synths. Same thing with oscillator two. Both are identical. Then you can go into the sub oscillator, add more harmonics and so forth that'll help you add more body to the tone. You have your voice. You can do anywhere from one to 24 voices. You can set your legato, portamento. You can do up to eight voices in your unison. <clears throat> then you have your amplitude envelope. Your filters, which give you the basic low pass, band pass, high pass, but then you get a format filter, which is pretty cool. Give you some additional shaping for your sound. Likewise, the same thing with filter two. Then you have your shaper, which is going to give you some additional harmonics, depending on what you set up. You can drive it to act like a distortion, set the mix accordingly. Then you have your two effects that are built in, which are your chorus and your delay then going down here you have your your mod envelope you got three slots that you can set this to as a mod matrix likewise you have your filter envelope same thing three you can pick and choose whichever one you want this to go out to likewise voice lfo you got your different options you can set your rate your depth then you have your phase ability then you have your global lfo same thing, you can set that stuff up here. You have a sample and hold as well as a sync. Then you have your mod wheel, and then you have the, the mod matrix for that. Then up here, you have your master level, your treble. You do some cutoff on the frequencies for the treble as well as the bass, and do some cutoff, and then you have a limiter. So, you know, it gives you a little bit to mess with on your presets. Everything is pretty straightforward in terms of the layout. So, it's not an overly complicated plugin to use. And then this one in particular, being that this was made for the Reason Rack extension back in 2015, you know, you're able to put it into Reason's ecosystem. Mind you that this was released back in 2015, way before Reason had the ability to use VSTs. So at that point in time, you kind of, if you got this, you had the ability to put it into the Reason ecosystem and do some interesting stuff with that you couldn't do in the plugin, the VST version. <clears throat> that being said, now Reason can run VSTs, so it really doesn't matter. I'll go over some of the presets. Now, this preset is not stock. I can't even tell you, like, because <laughs> it's ingrained, stid, it's a pad. So that's a very full, rich sound. Now, this plugin, when it came out, it's not necessarily known if they were trying to model any particular piece of hardware, but according to an article from Music Radar back in 2015, they said if they had to take a stab at any, you know, hardware unit, this was probably the most reminiscent of the Oberheim XA. Never played an Oberheim XA, so I couldn't tell you one from the other, but it sounds pretty decent. All right, we'll go over a few more patches. Again, now I got the Reason version pulled up, so there are a fair amount of different patches that you can use in the Reason version, which is, you know, it's cool because you got... So if 
you're not someone that cares to do a lot of programming and you don't necessarily want to be bothered with you know trying to get into all that even though this is fairly simple to program you got a boatload of different presets you can use that you can just use got some got some drums here and that's pretty cool yeah so you know you got your noise frequencies and whatnot so that will allow you to get into your percussive elements program your drums whatever type of drums you want to use we'll do another one let's do a mellow kick that's got some body to it If I was to put this up, put it on Legato. Shouldn't have did that. All right. But you get the drift. It's got some body to it. So, yeah, the cool thing about having this in the Reason version, if you're somebody that loves to do all that routing and stuff inside of Reason ecosystem, which is pretty expansive at this point, you got a lot of stuff that you can use to, to trick out the sounds here. And you got a nice amount of dock on presets that are already available for you to use. Do some pads. These come from Exude. <laughs> that rave music let's see what the bass sound like that's very thin but that's also very low I will say just from having experience with some of Exode's plugins their rack extensions they they do tend to lean uh they do tend to lean more towards the edm side of things. let's do the um So yeah, not too bad. I'll do a couple more. And then I'm gonna call it good with this one. Primarily because I've done this video three times and something always goes wrong in the middle of recording. All right, Father Moog. Now these are the standard kilohertz presets. Let's say super drive. Let's do, let's do buttery biscuit. Not bad, not bad. Now, I will say what you will notice between the two. Like you get more presets with the rack extension, but the VST version is louder. Let me show you what I mean. So let's go here. Gotta go. I gotta find it first. Please bear with me as I find first impressions lead. So that's the rack extension version. Now the VST version. 
Let's go here. And then we're going to go here. Now, if you notice in the VST version, it's bigger. And the screen is clear and easy to read. And in my opinion, the screen looks better. So if you want something that's more easy on the eyes, go with the VST. And then the layout for the presets, you know, you just click right here and then go pick your pick your patch that's louder now i don't know if that hurts your ears but same patch between both devices i haven't cut off anything or made any adjustments between the two they're the same exact it just so happens that the VST version is a little louder. I don't know if that's due to coding. That's a VST version. And let's see, we'll do a couple of these. Again, I've shot this video three times, so I apologize if you know the chords are starting to sound bland. I don't do these. all right so yeah there's that one poly ep i think that one sounds pretty good let's go back to space race from the lead Let's see, let's see. You gotta have the fake horns. The sound. It's like that fake brass sound that a lot of like your older instruments tried to replicate. And depending on your taste, you either loved it or hated it. I would hear it a lot in some of your gospel music. There's a lot of folks in that realm. They kind of lean towards that, which is cool. It's not really my deal. Let's do father mode with a bass. I don't know about that one. I couldn't tell you if it sounds like an actual mode. So I don't have one yet. When I add that extra octave in, I turn up the gain. That adds more body to it. At least from my perspective, you might hate it. Let's see, Freddy's Moog. Oh, sheesh, that was loud. Let's see if I can find it. It was one lead that sounded like a like a siren when I played it. Not a spooky theremin. Can't find it. Howler. <laughs> That's not the one I'm looking for. Again, I shot this video. This is my third time doing it. Yeah, let's do that seventh hell. I don't know what that sounds like. It sounds like something from Doom. Super Nintendo version. I might be tripping. All right, let's do one for the pad. Land of Sand. Too low. Oh gosh. Let's raise it up one more time.
that release is really long. That's cool. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna get off of here. But yeah, both plugins are really, you know, it's essentially the same. It's all gonna boil down to like the interface, what you wanna be looking at as you're working with this. If you don't use Reason, then obviously you wanna go with the VST version. If you have both Reason and then, you know, you use the VST or <clears throat> you prefer the rack extensions, it's gonna boil down to what you prefer. The VST is louder and in my opinion, things cut through a lot quicker, but then again, or a lot easier and a lot clearer more dynamic but that's just because it's louder then again on the other hand if you're using the rack extension depending on what patch you use it can be just as loud just as dynamic you got more patches to use from out the gate which means you got more options and if you're someone that doesn't like to do sound design that may be the better option for you um <clears throat> And if you're you like to route using the rack extension as opposed to the VST, then okay, you go that direction. Um, but overall, I would say yeah, check them out because they're free on both platforms, the VST. Or if you want the rack extension, you can go into the Reason Store and just look up Killer Hearts One and get this for free. So yeah, man, I would say check it out. And then also, if you're looking for like additional effects, both Reason. And the VST versions have their effects. I'll show those real quick. Give me a moment. There we go. So let's type in kilohertz. So in the rack extension version, you have all of these that you can pick from different bit crushers, EQs, choruses, comb filters, compressors, delays, different types of filters, frequency shifters, etc etc and the list just keeps going look at that look 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 so we got more so you got a lot that you can use and then on the vst side of things there's a lot that you can use with the vst yep i don't even have all of those pulled up or discernible i will say you get more with the vst than you get with the rack extensions in terms of I think you have a few more free effects in the VST version than you do in the in the rack extension but either way I would check those out I may do a separate video just talking about the effects and you know, do some brief demos on how to use them anyway thank you so much for you know bearing with me I'm gonna get off of here thank you for watching peace out